Oh man, everybody be sitting here waiting for that vendor reset. They are all ready. Hey everybody, what's going on? Sir DaVinci here with another vendor reset video for The Division this week. Picking up after uh, some time off of the game, uh, The Division had an update for the, uh, like basically the last update for the game and all the release uh, news about Destiny 2, all that kind of stuff. Been uh, grinding that out a little bit because I never uh, really got myself up to max light or anything. I pretty much stopped playing the game after hard mode for uh, the the newest raid had released. Uh, didn't even really try it. Uh, I just ended up getting bored of the game by the time that came out. So ended up stopping playing some other stuff. But I'm kind of back onto it with my friend. Uh, Going to be trying out the Crota raid hopefully this weekend. But either way, here we are with the division and we're going to jump off into the base of operations special equipment vendor for phoenix credits all right so starting off the video here with the special equipment vendor for phoenix credits with the exotic weapons here first off we have the centurion which has commanding historian this week has proficient and accurate the cassidy here has capable dominant yeah dominant uh the pecan this week has unforgiving and destructive which are actually both really good talents to have uh, the Liberators got Skilled and Prepared, and also Brutal. Brutal's pretty good. Uh, prepared, not really, and also not really for Skilled. Uh, but definitely Brutal for Assault Rifles, pretty good. Alright, also still here in the Special Equipment Vendor for Phoenix Credits, we have an MP7 here, which has 19% critical hit chance, 15.6 thousand base damage with my firearms at least. It's got Sustained, Predatory, and Hurried, so... This one, if you keep all three talents, you would basically be having a build that would kind of be really good at keeping you alive, along with Hurried, which makes your reload speed pretty high, and that actually works really well on SMGs due to the fact that they have critical hit, a high critical hit chance. Um, this one isn't the greatest, but seeing as how Sustain does not really, re or actually it doesn't require any electronics, uh, you could roll away Predatory for something like... Um, uh, responsive or deadly uh, to get yourself some more damage output um, alongside being able to keep yourself alive a little better with sustained and then hurried um, because of the fact that the mp7 has a pretty low magazine size it's a pretty nice talent to have on the mp7 although you are missing out on some uh, dps output um, from something like competent in the third slot um, it is still pretty nice on smgs to have that increased reload speed due to the fact that the mp7 goes through bullets very fast Alright, so next up we're going to scroll through all the uh, gear set pieces here in the Special Equipment Vendor. Alright, so also still here in the Special Equipment Vendor with the gear set pieces, one one of them that stood out the most for me was this Striker's Harness here, which has 1262 stamina, which is very high, I believe the max is 1272, uh, 14,191 health, 4% all resist, and 56% ammo capacity, you could roll away the all resist for health on kill, or really any other major attribute you would want in that slot. Um, if you're not running a stamina focus build, you're looking for firearms more, you could roll away the stamina for firearms. But if you are rolling for stamina, that's very good because this already has a very good stamina roll on it. Alongside having the bonus health and I believe 56% ammo capacity is the max. Not really like, you know, 5 or anywhere le between 1 and 5% would really matter if it was any, any, any less. But uh, either way, still a good thing to note that that I believe is the max. All right, now heading over to the special blueprints vendor here in the base of operations hub. Um, basically, one thing I want to note really quick is that if I have already purchased the blueprint, I'm not going to be able to see it. So um, obviously, if there is a blueprint that I've already purchased here, uh, you're not going to be able to see it. So if I can't point it out, I do apologize for that. But if you come here to the blueprints, this is what you'll see at least. We've got the ACR blueprint again. I believe it was there last week also. <coughs> We also have a holster blueprint, which is actually kind of cool. Uh, I haven't really seen this before due to the fact, like, holsters obviously have uh, all three attributes on them rather than just one like every other piece. So, uh, obviously, it's not like a specific type holster. It kind of just rolls everything. Um, and if you're not really uh, into the... Uh, the exotic holster there that really only works toward pistols. Uh, you can roll yourself a decent one here. Um, I'm not sure yet whether or not Nimble uh, got patched yet, but uh, if not, then not a bad blueprint to pick up. We also have the flash hider, 
the Heavy Magazine, and the Electronic Secure Mod. All right, now moving upstairs in the base of operations to the advanced weaponry vendor. Here we have a decently rolled M700 tactical here. 169% headshot damage, 117,000 base damage. It has harmful, toxic, and elevated, which is the guaranteed talent in the third slot. Uh, harmful is nice on, like I've said in previous videos, on semi-automatic snipers. So the bolt action, it's not going to be as effective, but it's still a decent thing to have. Uh, if you're not running a Predator's Mark build and you want to make someone bleed to slow them down to catch up, this is not a bad thing to use, especially on snipers, because they might be pretty far away, make them bleed, and then be able to catch up to them and start running after them. Uh, toxic is very nice to have on snipers because you're usually aiming for the head. <coughs> and uh, headshots will have a 15% chance of uh, applying the blind status effect, which is very nice, especially if you're doing uh, PvE fighting bosses or something. You could get that headshot that makes them blind, and then they're kind of just there waving their hands around for free shots on them with whatever your primary is, or you could just keep sniping at their head. Uh, whatever works for you. And elevated is pretty decent sniper talent. Um, obviously, it's guaranteed on the M700. Uh, it increases your damage by 10% when above the target by 1.2 meters. That is not a lot, so any chance you get, just you know, climb on top of a car or something, and uh, I believe that will even give it to you um, to get that extra 10% damage. Uh, if not, if you like the other two talents, would rather have them instead of like you could roll away harmful for uh, I believe per personally, I think the best talent to have on snipers other than um, toxic or prepared or elevated is uh, brutal. Um, and then, like I said, prepared is also a very good one because you're usually using your snipers from pretty far away, at least 30 meters, which uh, is pretty far if you're using assault rifles or anything, but sniper rifle is not that bad. Um, but yeah, pretty nice to roll M700 here. All right, now at the entrance of the base of operations here at the weapons vendor, we have a police UMP-45. Now, I wanted to make a video about this gun because I was kind of interested in knowing how well it would work due to the fact that the AUG with a lower rate of fire um, is actually quite strong and actually like one of the best SMGs right now. Uh, and it ha it's because it scale its base damage scales very nicely off of firearms. And same thing with the UMP. It has a lower rate of fire, but this one's got the 30 mag. There are variants that only have 20 bullets and a 650 RPM. Uh, I would say to I would suggest staying away from those because honestly, if it only has a 20 bullet mag, you might as well be using the uh, MP7. Uh, but this one here's got 20.5 percent critical hit chance 20.6 thousand base damage it has destructive responsive and ambusher ambusher is pretty bad uh, in pve there are some times where you might run into somebody using cover or maybe in pvp if someone's using smart cover and they just want to stay in it uh, that's really the only time that uh, that uh, talent is going to really be effective so that's why you kind of want to try and find a UMP that has two good talents to start with. With destructive and responsive are great. Destructive really only working uh, effectively toward PVE now, uh, but responsive is perfect for SMGs. And then you could roll away ambusher for something like competent or deadly, or if you don't have enough critical hit chance, you could roll for adept. Um, and then you would have a pretty nicely rolled UMP here. And I think I'm going to grab this one. I have tried a pre oh, um, another variant of the UMP in the past, and it actually was pretty good. It does hit like a truck. It's just that the uh, I feel like sometimes the rate to kill somebody is a lot better with a uh, higher rate of fire SMGs, which is usually the typical case. The higher rate of fire, the better the weapon most of the time. Uh, but either way, if you want to try this one out, base credits, not really anything that's going to take a chunk out of your wallet. So definitely try it out. All right, and lastly here at the base of operations and the gear vendor this time, we have a prototype electronics mod with 265 electronics, which is very nice, and 3% skill haste. Uh, you could roll skill power or health in one of those slots, but skill haste obviously pairing well with the electronics increase if you're running a skill build. This is a pretty good uh, mod to have. All right, heading on down to Camp Hudson, which is the original hub where you start the game at. At the weapons vendor, we scroll down here to a muzzle break, which has 12.5% stability, 4% critical hit damage, and 5.5% headshot damage. This one works very well with assault rifles, if for especially like the lightweight M4, police M4, or the uh, Elvo SC. For anyone who can't really control the recoil as well, especially on console, this is uh, a nice thing to have. I personally try to get the stability on my grip over the muzzle due to the fact that you can get uh, a lot of headshot damage on your muzzle. Um, so personally, I would suggest getting a grip for stability, but if you, even if with the grip with stability, if you still can't control it uh, well enough, this is definitely a pretty good one, good one to have because it still has at least some headshot damage and the critical hit damage will also come in handy a little bit. 
All right, next up down south here at the Madison Stand Safe House, we go into the gear vendor where we find ourselves a prototype firearms mod with 246 firearms and 2,928 skill power. If anyone's looking to get a uh, nice strong firearms build focused and then actually have a little bit of skill power to get your first aid or whatever skill you might be using to increase its power a little bit, still not a but definitely not a bad firearms mod to use. And also in the same vendor, we have a pair of uh, Savage gloves here, 1215 stamina. 16% uh, critical hit damage, 4,028 marksman rifle damage, and 5% critical hit chance. I personally run firearms on my gloves, as you can see. Uh, but Savage gloves are very good, especially with uh, SMGs, to get that little kick of extra uh, critical hit chance. And also even with assault rifles, really any other weapon, because having critical hit chance is always nice. Um, and it also comes with critical hit damage and chance already, so you could roll away with marksman rifle damage, unless you're using marksman rifles. Uh, you could roll it away for whatever damage type you might be using or prefer to have on them. Alright, next up at the last call safe house toward the southeast corner of the map and the weapons vendor here, we have a pro red dot sight with 17% critical hit damage, 2.5% stability, and 5.5% headshot damage. Uh, this is a very good scope to have on SMGs. You don't necessarily need to stack all critical hit chance on everything, um, but... Uh, that's why you would use something like this site that has uh, critical hit damage as a main attribute because if you had critical hit chance, I believe the max the main, as the main um, attribute would be 7.5%, and you but you could also get, I believe, 3 or 4% if it's uh, the secondary stat. So for this one, a perfect roll would have been the critical hit damage, critical hit chance, and then the headshot damage. But either way, it's definitely a good uh, scope to have for your SMGs. Alright, starting off the Dark Zone checkpoints here at the East 53rd Street Dark Zone checkpoint in the Dark Zone vendor. We have a pair of Savage Gloves with 1249 electronics, 7% skill haste, 15% critical hit damage, and 5% critical hit chance. If you really think about it, if you're using these in a skill build, the electronics paired with the skill haste is actually kind of nice. And obviously you have the 15% critical hit damage, 5% critical hit chance to get some more damage output. Uh, so if you're using like an SMG... Um, with a skill build then this is not a bad pair of gloves already the way they are so definitely check these ones out if you're interested all right next up down south here at the fifth ave dark zone checkpoint we have a classic m1a here which is pretty nicely rolled at 171 percent headshot damage very nice 55.6 thousand base damage it has determined destructive and toxic uh, you could roll away determined for brutal or prepared personally i would suggest brutal and then having destructive obviously uh is going to be nice for pve especially against enemies that have the shields up like heavy enemies and stuff like that uh, to get their shields down quicker and then having toxic in the third slot having uh, those extra headshots getting those chances at getting the target blind is also going to be very nice and get stunning them that way you can pump a bunch of extra bullets into them like I've said in previous videos. Alright, moving way up here to the northeast corner of the Dark Zone in DZ09 East 64th Street Dark Zone checkpoint. Here we have a prototype performance mod with 5.5% first aid self heal. Uh, I believe the max is 6%, which we had a couple weeks ago. Uh, but either way, 5.5 is definitely still effective and nice to have for your first aid self heal, especially while playing solo. Alright, next up at the Park Ave checkpoint here, which is in the southern part of DZ08 at the weapons vendor, we have a pretty much perfectly rolled Scar L. 21% out of my armor damage, 23.1 thousand base damage. It has destructive, responsive, and brutal already on it, which is great for PvE having the destructive, and um, I believe the Scar L is going to be pretty easy to keep steady for the brutal. Uh, it has a lower rate of. Um, a lower RPM for assault rifles, but it does have higher base damage. So this is actually a decent weapon, especially for PvE. In PvP, you're going to want to be using something like the M4s or the Elvoas uh, in order to compete. But this is, like like I said, pretty much perfectly rolled the way it is. Uh, you could roll uh, Brutal away for like Ferocious if you want, um, if you're going to be using it specifically for PvE. Responsive is great to have in PvE. Uh, some people try to focus, or try to stay away from the enemies more. So you could roll that away for something better, I guess. Um, uh, I could, you couldn't do that. Uh, but either way, I had something running in my head. didn't really make much sense. Either way, uh, a pretty good, nice Scar L here if you have the Phoenix credit. Not Phoenix credit, Stark Zone funds for them. All right, we are now at the DZ08 safe room here with the Dark Zone special vendor, which has a bunch of gear piece items, or gear set items anyway, uh, which I will scroll through now.
All right, we are now at the DZ09 Dark Zone safe house. Uh, here at the weapons mod vendor, we have an extended mag here, 110.5% magazine size, 4% critical damage, and 5.4% rate of fire. Almost a perfect extended mag. Personally, I would suggest to have the critical hit chance over the damage because 4% critical hit damage is pretty much nothing, but 4% critical hit chance is obviously something worth using. Uh, but either way, actually a very good extended mag here. Um, Obviously not perfect, like I said, but still very good, nice to, uh, thing to pick up. All right, still here at the DZ09 safe room here upstairs, we have at the special vendor more gear set pieces, which I will scroll through now. Right, and finally here at the DZ06 safe room at the special vendor with the gear set pieces I will scroll through now. Alright guys, that'll do it for this week's Wonder Reset video for The Division. I hope you guys enjoyed, I hope you guys appreciate all the effort I put into the videos. I know one uh, comment last week was about how I kind of spend the extra time to kind of explain how certain uh, items and stuff like, or gear could work into certain builds. Or, and other things like that. The, the extra description was very helpful to him, and I, I, I do appreciate that you appreciate that. Um, there was a point where I kind of like shortened everything I said about each thing just to kind of shorten the videos just because I know people prefer the shorter videos. But if that's the case, you guys appreciate the extra info, I do not mind. So I will definitely keep that up. Like I said, I've been playing the division a bit, so I haven't really been around uh, Last Stand or anything like that. Um, but I do still have, like I said, the content to upload. Um, uh, but yeah, other than that, uh, hope you guys appreciate the video, hope you guys like it, uh, leave a comment down below, any feedback is always appreciated, and I will see you guys next time.